The longest tapestry in the world has been unveiled in Preston Pans. It's 338 feet long, making it nearly 100 feet longer than the historic Bayeux tapestry. 200 volunteers stitched the panels, which depict Bonnie Prince Charlie's journey to Scotland up to the Battle of Preston Pans. Lisa Summers has been to see it. It's difficult to give you a sense of the exact scale of this tapestry as it weaves its way around this marquee, but it is believed to be the longest in the world. It's 26 metres longer than the Bayou tapestry, and it tells the story of one of our most romanticised heroes, Bonnie Prince Charlie, from the moment he left Rome and came to Scotland to the aftermath of this battle, the Battle of Preston Pans, when he overcame the British army. Now, the artist behind the project is Andrew Crummy, Hello. and he joins me now. Andrew. The omission, I guess, in the story is the Battle of Culloden and the defeat by Bonnie Prince Charlie. No, but what we wanted to do was concentrate on the positive side, the high point of the Jacobite campaign, which the culmination of that was the Battle of Preston Pans and the journey across Scotland. And when they, when they defeated the British Army, they, they, had, they were very positive and they felt they could go on and, and go down to Derby and ultimately on to London. And it was a huge community project. Yes, this involved 200 women, uh, 25,000 hours of work, uh, and 10 million stitches. And I think what you see when you look at this tapestry is sometimes just the detail and the intricacy which is quite fascinating. What's so fantastic about it is the, it's the details that these 200 women have put into it. So you've got a good example here of the, of the blood coming out the, the, the red coats. And all, it's, it's these small details that really make this tapestry so fantastic. Well, today is the official unveiling, but after that it will go on tour. First stop is Eriskay, where Bonnie Prince Charlie first landed in Scotland, but after that it'll tour the rest of Scotland and hopefully the world too. Quite right. Someone else can do a tapestry about her defeats.